Hello there y'all, I'm Rain and this is Fennec Fables, a delightful place where we discuss TTRPG ideas and swap stories. Last week I shared a story about a West Marches server I played in and figured I'd share another story about a player that I had to handle as an admin and a game master there. If you want the link to that video, it should be appearing somewhere here in the top right corner. You don't need to have watched that to understand the tale, but I thought it was a pretty interesting story so you might enjoy it. That said, back to the topic at hand. I want to start off with a content warning for this story as there are some troubling topics. There will be mention of gore, sexual assault, and threats of harm. If these topics are distressing to you, I fully understand and hope you'll check out one of my other videos. If you do stick around to the end credits, you will be rewarded with an adorable photo of my dog though. When I was in that server, we started off as a small group of people. Even fewer in that group were actually players initially, so it was a very tight-knit group. As we played, we ended up expanding out and leveling PCs to a degree that we were effectively endgame bosses in our own right. This is one of the only PCs I ever naturally went to 20 with after all. Around this time is when a few of us players with more free time than sense were asked if we'd be willing to admin, moderate, and act as game masters as they were getting more people that wanted to play and they wanted the help. Most of us agreed, and to a degree, our initial PCs ended up becoming avatars more than anything else, partly due to time, but also it was becoming increasingly hard to challenge them in any way that was still fun. All this set up to explain what happened to a particular player who ended up feeling that they took a back seat and took drastic measures to gain attention again. Initially the player had the role of half-elf orc fighter named Sir Galahot. The player himself was a nice guy, if albeit a little unaware of social situations, but let's be honest, none of us were all that good at it. I still have trouble with it myself these days. But he was a strong ally to have and we got to roleplay bouncing ideas off him and his straightforward replies. We played that way for months until he began to feel like he was less important than the rest of us. I don't know if he ever was offered a role as a game master, but I do know that he did feel slighted that we were running and he was not. There was also growing frustrations on his part that even though we all worked hard to secure magic armor and magic items for him, he felt like he lagged behind us when it came to combat. I can't say I disagree, his options weren't as varied as some of ours, but when it came to damage output, he was rival to none. These things all began to all work together to poison his feelings of the other players and the group as a whole. Around now is when the server introduced a new rule saying that players that had a player character above a certain level could make a second PC. The main point of this was to make sure that everyone be able to play with new people coming in who were in a lower bracket than the rest of us. We could keep our original PCs and there would be things for us to do, but the focus was primarily on the lower levels to get new people introduced. It was at this point that Sir Galahad decided to make a new PC and he knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. I recall that he asked to use a homebrew pugilist class, which I believe got approved. For those that don't know, pugilist is basically boxers and people that are hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Basically monk, but more gritty. And it was another half-orc, if I recall. He made her a female PC, and I think where was some sort of cage fighter wild tribe background. While his first PC was made to be a heroic knight sort of guy, his new PC was very much meant to be a seedy anti-hero, which we didn't have a problem with. We had all sorts in this game. Heck, one of the initial players was running an assassin rogue sort of PC that took on seedier deals. What wasn't okay was how this new PC engaged with those behaviors. This part requires a little context, but my first PC was a Hexblade Divine Soul Sorcerer multiclass that I worked all the way up from level one. Part of that character's journey was learning of the history of this family and what happened to the satyrs in this world. It was unintentional as I was unaware when I made the PC, but it seems most satyrs were stragglers to a plague of some kind that left very few wandering around. As I grew, I learned that the reason he lived was a divine favor and so I began trying to work out and become aligned with the savior that kept me alive. The deity I aligned with was one of love and music. This actually led to an in-real-life month of work. 
each day equated to roughly a week of in-game time, so over a span of four in-game months, I handled tasks such as couples therapy, repairing family bonds, and increasing morale around the city. All of these were handled with actual roleplay. I will fully admit that this did take up most of my non-game master time, but I was invested in this as it was the only thing I really had going for this character as he'd done just about everything, and I thought it would be a nice capstone to my character's story to become an angel. <sighs> Suffice it to say, Galahot also wanted attention like this, so they decided to have their PC climb to the top of a mountain and scream to the heavens, declaring that she would do the bidding of any deity as long as it led to their victory. What blew me away is some random mod decided that in their infinite wisdom to just declare that an evil deity of the realm deemed them worthy and made them their champion. They bore a mark, gamed some boons, and walked off the mountain happy as a clam. And I was left there stunned that they let them get away with this as a low-level PC to achieve what I took months to do in 20 minutes. Suffice it to say, I wasn't happy. I'm not proud to admit it, but I definitely complained in the Game Master chat about these particular actions, but the one that did it just digitally shrugged their shoulders and said, eh, evil is easy, let them have fun, which was not exactly a satisfying answer. I felt that this kind of behavior was definitely going to have them act out maliciously, and you'll see that I was right later on. What also wasn't satisfying was what they started to do after all of this. Having gained this blessing, their PC began doing some absolutely horrid acts of violence, in particular to people. They tried to stay away from NPCs that we cared about, but they would have some sort of engagement with regular people on the regular, and it was not pretty. I don't want to get into graphic detail here, but there was very detailed descriptions of decapitations, eye gouging, disembowelment, and other things that we just asked them to pull back on as it was getting to a degree that we felt was too far. They said that we were just trying to stifle them and carried on and there was little we could do as we knew they didn't technically break any rules yet. This of course was set to change. Around now is when his first PC, Sir Galahad, waltzed up to the king's castle of the realm and demanded entry. His PC had a title as a guard captain and thought he could just go anywhere he pleased because of that. When he was refused entry, because just because you're a guard captain doesn't mean you get to go wherever you want, he did not take it well. He swapped to his other PC and went on a rampage, which it was clear he was just trying to vent his frustrations from the other PC's inability to do as he pleased. At this point, me and another player decided that maybe we needed to intervene in a way to help pull them out of this spiral of self-destructive behavior. I made a new PC that was a female wood elf monk, and I can't remember the other PC other than they were also a female. We reached out via an in-game roleplay and said we were heading off on a quest, and could they do some work with us to be extra muscle? They accepted and joined in on the mission. This next part is where things took the worst turn. Through the process of adventure, me and the other PC were rendered unconscious. I can't remember the exact circumstances, but I do know that we were stable by the time the confrontation was handled. It was at this point, they decided that they needed to show how evil their PC was. They described in detail how they stripped all of our clothes off, getting into graphic detail when it came to our privates and how our injuries looked. It was apparent they were about to go even further as they described taking out a bottle and tools. What? What the fuck? At which point I had to cut this off and then say that there was no way this was going on and it was directly against the rules of the server. They tried to say that they only took off our clothes to apply salve, but no one was buying that and I took the initiative on an immediate ban. It was clear that they had been spiraling in their behavior for a while. In the means to keep this story concise, I have skipped over some of the actions they had taken, but suffice it to say, they were spoken to, reached out to, and warned multiple times that while we had no issues with a PC being roleplayed as evil, you could not do things like that in the game. He did not appreciate this ban in the slightest and immediately began messaging all of us in the game in turn. To some he begged, to some others he insulted, and to me, he threatened violence and harm. 
I will say I did end up rather scared as he had been in the game with us for a while and quite friendly. And I was legitimately concerned that he might know where I lived from things I had said to him back when we were friendly or be able to trick the info out of somebody else in the server. Fortunately, the other game masters and admin sided with me on this as he had been given multiple warnings about his behavior and this last action was the final straw. We already had other players playing less than lawful PCs. There was an entire channel solely for those that participated in evil dirty work like assassinations, robbery, blackmail and the like. But we had very clear rules in place on how one could treat other players and how the world itself had laws that you had to be careful about. I don't know why, but I very rarely ever had players that knew how to handle being evil without devolving into being a sexual assaulter or murder hobo. I'm not sure why, but for most, the idea of evil is linked to just these two things, and it's rather reductive. Not to ignore that one can still be evil and still know that you don't mess with your allies. I don't know why, but people devolve into this just mustache twirling evil idea. I skipped over all the minutia, but his PC did also engage in acts of theft targeting other PCs or interfering in their plans purely to be spiteful and in many ways metagaming it. In several ways, I wish I had known what he needed, as I truly feel that the reason he ended up behaving this way was out of frustration and needing validation. I can't blame him as even I myself ended up acting out at one point in the game having my PC do an elaborate goodbye before he went to do another thing on another plane, but even with that, I did not try to ruin the fun of others or devolve into such horrendous things. If any of y'all had been in my shoes, what do you think you would have done instead? Would you have reached out or tried to have him in some other way be involved? Or do you think you would have pulled the ban hammer out sooner than I did? I do hope that I can share some of my more fun and happy stories from that game in the future as it was a really magical time. Rose colored glasses aside, every time I think back to it, it does make me smile. One reason being one of the non-playing mods who wrote all the lore to the game loved my PC so much and the journey that they went on that they made it canon to the books they were writing. So that does make my heart sore. All that said though, thank y'all so much for joining me. If you can, a like, a share, or especially a subscribe really helps as I work on getting more of these videos out. I've been working on my way to 500 subscribers and each new one makes me so happy. I love seeing that number go up. And once we get to 500, I'm really hoping to do another contest. So plug, plug. If you do enjoy answering TTRPG prompts or questions, Please join me on Twitter or Blue Sky, where I post daily, which is in the description down below and linked on the main channel page. Who knows, your responses may be part of a future video. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I'm always interested in what folks would like to hear, and you can send them either by email or by joining the channel Discord, where we can chat with other fellow cool people. Thanks again, y'all, and I hope you enjoyed the story, and that this might help you handle tough stuff in your own games in the future. Do your best to tell better tales, and enjoy this cute photo of my dog to end off on a good note. See y'all later. Bye.